have been invested in the field. Uh, you know, we were the board uh, decided or looked ahead to uh, the future of uh, Tim Burke. Uh, as we said about a month ago, uh, we will review football operations. We are reviewing football operations, and an answer to that will come shortly. What about this season? If you got a message from fans, it was disappointing they hung in there. Uh, I, our fans are the best in the country, and we're all disappointed with our record this year. But we're, uh, we're excited about our future, and uh, we're excited about the opportunity to be playing in Canada's best football facility. The future of Joe Mack, the same as Tim Burke's situation, you guys review uh, It's being reviewed and that answer will be coming short. Your feelings on his uh, record this past season? Uh, the, the team's record overall is just disappointing and it's not acceptable and we will uh, review everything for the whole organization, including the board. Will you be pushing the board in a certain direction? Or? Uh, the board and myself will, will meet and we'll make a decision very shortly. The, uh, turf the, field was uh, the turf has been installed over the last 30 days. It was completed about, about five to seven days ago. Brother, can you say shortly, do you think a week, ten days, two weeks before the Great Cup? Uh, it'll be before the Great Cup. Reviewing process is uh, review the record. But we also have to look for talent. I, I think we have some great talent. We have some great. We have the youngest team in the CFL, and uh, we have to look at uh, how we can grow, grow on that record for next year and grow on that talent. You talked about learning football. Uh, I'm confident that I have surrounded myself with enough people who know football and talked to enough people who know football. Uh, my job is is to hire one person, and that's the general manager of the football operations. And what happens with the coach after that is the general manager's job. And uh, so I, I need to make an assessment on Joe Mack. Our board needs to make an assessment on Joe Mack. And that's my only role in football operations staff, is to hire the general manager. Are you considering changing the role of the general manager the structure of that? Uh, everything is under review. And our business operations and our football operations, everything is currently under review. And we will uh, assess that and we will put forth our plan very shortly. Uh, you know what? I, it's too early to say. Well, I, I, I think the overall direction uh, has been better under Tim. But uh, when we do our complete analysis and we look at the, the talent that we have, I think last game, two games ago, we had we had six rookies playing, on the, playing for us. So Joe's Joe's position and Tim's position uh, are just just two people of uh, all the football operations that are being assessed and reviewed right now, including our business operators. We need to be a better uh, sustainable business. And we're reviewing reviewing everything, and the season's almost over, so we'll make those. Uh, Assessments and announcements very short. Joe's plan at the quarterback position is critical. What does that mean here? What do you want to hear? Uh, I want to hear that we're going to solidify our quarterback position. And, uh, and he needs to put, put forward the plan. I'm sure he will if, uh, if, if that's the decision by, by myself and the board. Do you agree with that plan? I uh, certainly do, yes. Would you, want, would you want Joe to make some sort of a case? We have 157 seats that have obstructive views, which is 0.45% of the total seating capacity. Every new stadium or new arena built in North America has some obstructive views issues. Uh, what we've done a month ago, we started open houses with our season ticket holders. We have obstructive views. We take them to their seats, and over 85% of the people who've sat in their seats have said these are fine. And for those seats, they get they get 50% off. Uh, for, uh, for, the, for every every year that they're sitting in the seats. Can you just touch it, Arthur? Yeah. Can you just point like, where, where we are? Point to something that's like strong. Well, it's, it's it's where the uh, the vomitories are and where the handicapped seating is. We've had to raise the, the railing where the handicapped seating, seating is so we can uh, we don't have to worry about any kind of safety issues. And where the TV stands, there's some 
there's some railings around it. But, like I said, 85% of the people who sat, sat in the seat said, these aren't bad. We'll sit in these seats and we'll, we'll gladly take 50% off of the seats. Can you see from those seats or can't you see them? Well, the railing in, in some cases is, is at high level. Uh, and to us, they were obstructed, but uh, to a lot of other people, they're not obstructed. And they're, they're quite happy to sit in and for those people who don't uh, aren't satisfied, we're moving them to a different section. Even though the price price level might be higher in the in the next section, we're uh, we're giving them the, the same price as they paid for the obstructed use seat. So what do you tell us about the uh, cost of this seat? Not just the guaranteed construction cost, but this uh, Well. Guaranteed price of 190 million dollars. There's uh, there's some cost overruns that we the Bay Football Club is, uh, is uh, absorbing that those extra costs and it's been reported between between two and three million dollars. Most of that is for fan experience and and ways that we can generate additional revenue. Is that it? Uh, there'll be uh, there'll be more spent elsewhere, but that's that's our our money is uh, the Bay Football Club money. Too. Is what, uh, is what we're absorbing. Uh, well, the Purple B Board, which is the owner of the stadium, will be having some additional costs. That will be absorbing some additional costs. You're part of that Purple B Board? Yes. So what does that cost? I, uh, I can't say that. Because I'm not the, uh, I'm not the person to talk about the extra cost. They'll be, they'll, be, uh, they'll be identified and the Purple B Board will, will be football first, but how does a football team feel knowing that the stadium is opening for a concert and not a football game? Well, the concert's exciting. The uh, June 22nd next year we'll hold the first concert, which is Taylor Swift in the Vestas Group Field, and it's... Uh,